they have, oh, I, sorry, I'm starting over again. Good morning, everyone. This is Tina with Rhapsody and Ribbons. How is everybody doing today? I hope you're all having a blessed Sunday and doing well. Um, I came on to do a small shopping haul with you. Um, last week, I managed to get to Joanne Fabrics and Hobby Lobby and Michaels. So, but I do want to say when I was at my Michaels, they are loaded with Christmas stuff. I mean, they still had trees and garland and ornaments and picks and you name it. So I was quite surprised. They Ours didn't have their $5 boxes yet. Now, whether they do this week or not, I don't know. So, but anyhow, I'm going to start with Michaels. So this is just a couple things I bought from Michaels. And I found this really pretty mesh there. So this is pink with like white jute going through it. Um, but they have cut their mesh rolls down. This is only 18 feet instead of 30. And um, they've done this with their yarn as well. So I'm tending to shy away from Michaels just because of that. Oops, just because of that reason. Um, because it's still regular price. I mean, they didn't lower the price. And the other one I got was the purple. Same thing with the white jute going through it. And then I found this beautiful purple ribbon. Okay. Again, this is only 20 feet. So they've cut this down as well. Uh, that's really a bummer. Um, and they, I think the other one I got was the pink with the white to go with the other one. So I think that was it from Michaels. Okay. I have a few Dollar Tree items. Our Dollar Tree doesn't have anything. I'm looking for those bunny feet. And I can't find them. Um, I may have to go out to some other Dollar Trees um, if I go out. But I bought these little, it's a bunny kit. You put a bunny together. But you know what? I like the little pom-poms for a bunny tail. So I got one of each, pink and white. And I don't need these, but I just picked up another package of Easter eggs. And then... Again, I bought a heart, um, a cross, which I'm in a process of working on a cross right now. So I'm going to come back on today and I'm going to um, finish that cross with you guys. Uh, I think that's all the dollar three. Okay, so this is Hobby Lobby. Um, and this was $6.99, but it was 40% off and it has... 10 yards on it. So, I'm getting late to make a, um, <laughs> and I got this tool at Hobby Lobby because I was going to do a shamrock wreath, but, I mean, it wouldn't take me long to do it, so you're just going to wrap this around the shamrock and make a bow. I mean, that's what I thought of because I do have a shamrock. If I don't do it this year, I'll do it next year. Um, I got this really, really pretty ribbon in their spring section at Hobby Lobby, and it was half off of $7.99. And then I picked up these little Easter eggs at Hobby Lobby. Um, is that it from Hobby Lobby? I think so, guys. Oh, no, I bought... The, oh, okay, yes, this is Joanne Hall now. So sorry, guys. So I picked up one of these and one of these. Um, so, you know, I do love this stuff. So, um, what do they call this, guys? Uh, my brain is gone. So I got that. And then I bought one of their Easter egg forms. And... It was $5.99 at 40% off. I just picked one up for the heck of it. I have tons of them. Um, they had this 
leftover ribbon at 70% off of $5.99. So I'll put that away for Valentine's Day next year. And then I've been looking for these electric candles. And so these were 50% off, so they were $9.99 for $5. And I did buy four or five of them. I think I bought five. The other one is in my bedroom. So these you can just leave on all year long in your window. So I did get those. And uh, their florals were on sale. I think they were 40% off. So this bunch was $12.99. So look how beautiful these are. It's a, it's a nice full bush. And then I got the smaller bush, which was $5.99 at 40% off. And then just um, a fill-in greenery, spring greenery. I think this is so pretty. So that is my little shopping haul. I don't think I forgot anything. Um, nope. I think that's everything. Um, okay, so, yeah, so right after this video, I'm going to come back on, and um, I might just go live um, and finish my cross wreath. Um, so I used the Dollar Tree wreath form, and then the Dollar Tree mesh, which, excuse me, guys. So I got the purple and white, I'm falling over, and the solid purple. So um, I think I have all those bundles done. And that's it. So I did want to share this so I can put it where it needs to go. Um, yeah. So on other news, um, I think last time I spoke with you guys, I told you that my Nico wasn't doing well. It turned out that he had throat cancer. Um, he had a big lump under here, and um, he had one behind his ear. Um, so as much as I was feeding him, um, he had visible means of hard time swallowing, but he was getting it down, but I'm sure that it was painful to get it down. He did eat for me, but he was just losing weight, losing weight, losing weight. So we went ahead and had him put down. So that was very difficult because he was one of the pups that I had bred. Um, he'll be 14 in September. I have Valentino left, which is his brother. You guys have all seen Valentino many, many times. Um, he's very sad and heartbroken because he was so used to Nico. Now, he didn't like his papa. He was always fighting with Blizzard, but um, he does, he's quite sad. Um, even though I have a rabbit now, you guys know I have an English Angora rabbit. Um, she plays with him, but it's not filling the void for him. Um, this rabbit acts like a dog. She plays like a dog. She's totally litter trained. She's, she's amazing. She is just simply amazing. But I'm thinking about getting another dog. Um, I don't know. I, I've been tossing this around and maybe you can throw your opinions out there. I don't know if that would make Tino happy, if it would make him, um, jealous because, he's so attached to me. I don't know what to do. Um, I'm torn. The kind of breed I'm looking at is called a Bernie Doodle. Um, they're Bernice Mountain Dog um, mixed with a, a standard poodle. Um, they're very, very expensive. <laughs> they go anywhere from three to five thousand dollars, which I know my husband would have a fit if I spend that much on a dog. Um, so I'm just looking around um, yeah, it's, it's just hard. It's just very hard. And the reason why I'm making this cross, um, we brought Nico home. Um, we do bury our dogs in our backyard. So there's about five of them back there. And so I always keep, a, um, 
a grave marker and um, so I'm going to make a new cross um, for them. And let's see what else. I'm just trying to get all this misery out. Um, my oldest brother, I need your prayers. He's um, in the hospital. He's 78. Um, he has high potassium levels. Um, his diabetes is out of control. His blood pressure is out of control. Um, so I had to argue with him yesterday too, because he lives in Pennsylvania. I had to argue with him yesterday. Is like, don't make me your sick sister get on an airplane and come to you and drag your butt to the ER because I will. And um, I'm very close to him. So uh, he did go in. They admitted him uh, last night and he's going to have to spend the night again. Um, so <clears throat> with the high potassium levels, he has some fluid in his lungs um, and stuff. And, you know, he's the one that had COVID um, last May and they only gave him a 30% chance to recover because he was on ventilator. Um, so he's very susceptible to getting pneumonia and, you know, and he does get vac vaccinated. So I don't know what the deal is, um, with that. And then my other brother, um, he's got dementia. And so, you know, he's getting worse by the day. He's 70, let's see, I'm 65. So he's 75. Um, but one of the sweetest guys you'll ever meet in your life, you know, so I'm devastated, you know, because like, it's not like I can pick up the phone and have a conversation with him where he understands what I'm talking about. So I went through this with my father. Uh, my father died from Alzheimer's. It's very ugly. Um, yeah, so that's why there's just been so much going on and I just haven't felt like making um videos um i have done a couple wreaths um i didn't even finish this one guys that was the last one i made um online i did put the bows on it and stuff but i haven't finished it i haven't even put it on facebook for sale um, or anything like that and another project i did and i didn't share with you guys is well i kind of did this for valentine's day so this was just one of their wooden hearts from Dollar Tree and then I just bought some material I covered it well on the inside it has um batting okay so it kind of makes it look um 3d and then I just went around and put lace on it but you can do this with anything anything for home decor to put on a wreath so um that was the only other thing I made I do Oh, here we go. Here's the heart wreath. And then I bought this purple because my bedroom is purple. So I'm going to make this for my bedroom. And then I got this purple lace um, to do this one with. So if you want to see me do that one, it's a simple project. But I will be happy to. So guys, if you're sick and you need a prayer, please tell me so I can put it out on my channel. And I can also pray for you. Please pray for our men and women serving in the United States military, our law enforcement officers, our doctors, our nurses, our first responders. Um, and most of all, please pray for this country, for those who seek to destroy us. And with that, as I always say, guys, ciao.